welcome back previously we have begun with the concept of marginal costing in theoretical concept methodology so let us discuss some of the techniques and methods followed in marginal costing next case find out fixed cost with the help of pv ratio and we know what is meant by fixed cost what are the equations for finding the pv ratio and remember uh, in marginal costing we have we will be learning different types of equation and we will apply all the equations in some of the certain cases as well as simple questions we apply each equation since if you go through the each equation you can see that almost all the items are there in each one of the various equation which we have learned so in order to identify some items you have to try some other equations that is the concept of uh, various problems in marginal costing so find out various fixed cost with the help of pv ratio and various items given in the question are sales for lakh pv ratio 30 percentage profit is 40 percentage so how you are going to find the fixed cost so we know that contribution equal to sales into pv ratio so and contribution is given in the question 4 lakhs into pv ratio is 30 percent a so you will get contribution 1 lakh 20 thousand and in the question profit is already given and we know there is an equation where fixed cost profit and contribution is there and we have in details regarding two items so we can directly substitute in the equation fixed <coughs> cost equal to contribution minus profit we have found the contribution so contribution minus profit you will get the amount of fixed cost so this is how you have to use the various equation in various questions so it doesn't mean that you have to use particular equation for finding particular item we might use different equation for finding different items next one from the following information calculate sales contribution is given pv ratio is given so we know that say pv ratio equal to contribution by sales so the same equation can be altered like this sales equal to contribution by pv ratio contribution is given pv ratio is given so you can directly find the value of sales so it's a very easy question this easiness can be found in almost all the cases as well as adjustment cases so don't worry about the problems in the case of marginal cost some the following information calculate pv ratio year sales profit is given see 2019 the sales was 4 lakh and profit earned was 80000 during 2020 sales is 4 lakh 60000 profit is 1 lakh so pv ratio equal to change in profit divided by change in sales into 100 we have learned the number of different equations in case of finding pv ratio one such equation was this one this equation is used for this type of questions so change in profit change in profit means profit for the first first year minus profit for the second year so 20000 divided by change in sales is difference between these two amounts so 20000 divided by 60000 into 100 so you got pv ratio 33.1 by 3 see uh, pv ratio usually will be a whole number like 20 percentage 30 percentage 44 percentage or 50 percentage likewise in some situation you may get a peculiar type of a percentage that is 33 3, 1 by 3 percentage next one cost volume profit analysis that is an another important area that comes under marginal costing otherwise it is known as cvp analysis or break even analysis and what is the concept of this analysis CVP analysis is an important part of marginal costing. It is an analysis of volume of sales, cost of production, and profit. These three factors are interdependent. 
because change in one factor affects the other two factors a change in volume of production and sales affects the cost of production which in turn affects the pro amount of profit which ultimately affects the performance of the organization so cvp analysis is a study of the interrelationship between cost of production volume of sales and the profits it studies the effect of changes in volume of output on cost and profit it is an important tool of short term planning and decision making so cvp analysis is one such tool in marginal costing it is a very important tool so we will discuss about the various cases under cvp analysis and cvp analysis is otherwise known as break even analysis so from this point onwards we will be using the term break even analysis next one break even analysis break even analysis i hope you have heard the term break even break even point and break even analysis so let us discuss about what is meant by break even analysis the common the most commonly used form of cvp analysis otherwise known as break even analysis is a break even analysis break even analysis is a study of the interrelationship between cost volume and profit at various levels of activity it is concerned with the ascertainment of break even point that is the point at which the total revenues equal to total cost so the study of relationship between cost volume and profit up to the break even point can be called as break even analysis and beyond the break even point it can be called as cvp analysis in some situation we uh, use to specify that term pv and the break even point analysis or break even analysis as well as cost volume profit analysis even though these terms are used synonymously sometimes the analysis of break even point is known as break even analysis but cost volume profit analysis means we uh, cost volume profit analysis is a wider approach it will study break even point analysis as well as all levels of analysis that is a difference between break even analysis and cost volume profit analysis but from now on we will be using the term break even analysis so regarding the break even analysis break even analysis the analysis of the break even point and the sales cost as well as all activities at that point is analyzed thoroughly because the success and failure of every business depends upon identification of the break even point it is actually a safe point that safe point is a determining point that determines the success of the business if the organization achieves a break even point it is said that the organization is in safe position without knowing the break even point no organization can survive in the extremely dynamic business environment so break even analysis is an important aspect so in order to identify break even point there are different methods so the methods of identifying break even analysis can be done using two methods one is algebraic method as the name suggests it is a combination of different equations second is graphic method or graph method it is a, as the name suggests it is a use of various graph for identifying the breaking point so let us begin with algebraic method otherwise known as method for finding break even point break even point is the level of activity or volume of sales at which there is neither profit nor loss at that point there will be no profit no loss it is a point that of sales at which the total revenues is equal to the total cost sales below break even point will result in profits break even point is thus known as the no profit no loss and at the break even point contribution is equal to fixed cost remember at break even point contribution will be equal to fixed cost as there is no surplus or deficit in the contribution there is neither profit nor loss so at the break even point contribution is just sufficient to cover the fixed cost 
every company tries to reach the break even point as early as possible so that all for the sale will results in profit that is why break even point is given much importance in decision making regarding marginal cost method so how you are going to find the break even point where using algebraic method there are some of the equations so the equations are as one break even units break even point is a point where the organization can achieve no profit no loss situation that is it is a point or the sales point in which the organization achieve nothing nothing means no profit no loss so the importance of point is that that point is a point where the number of units has been sold out for a certain sum of money and that unit is known as break even unit and the a sales amount is known as break even sales so why there is a difference between units and sales because break even point has to be identified with respect to unit sold as well as for how much amount sale sold so break even point has to be identified in break even units as well as break even sales so for finding the break even point with regards to unit the equation is total fixed cost divided by contribution per unit second one break even sales this is the equation with regards to the amount of sales that occur at that point so equation is fixed cost into sales divided by contribution it can be also used for finding another equation is total fixed cost divided by pv ratio next one is break even sales otherwise known as break even point for in the equation we will be using break even point but in the question they may ask calculate break even units or calculate break even sales you can use equations accordingly another equation is break even point is break even point in units this one break even point in units into selling price per unit that is a simplest equation so these are some of the major equations regarding break even point computation so next one calculation of profit at a given level of sales as i have mentioned earlier organization might go through different levels the levels may be point below break even point as well as point above break even point so during the computation part or in simple terms in some of the questions they may ask a question calculate profit at a given level of sales given level of sales means sales may be given you need to find the profit the same question can be asked interchangeably that is profit will be given and that case sales has to be identified so whatever the case may be the equation for finding such e questions is when the sales are given first calculate contribution by deducting variable cost or multiplying with pv ratio and deduct fixed cost from contribution to get the sales that is the theoretical part but the equation is profit equal to sales into pv ratio minus fixed cost or contribution minus fixed cost this is a simple equation there is another one another form sales required to earn a desired amount of profit that is the situation whenever the whenever the question with this title comes the equation for finding that desired profit when to earn say sales required to earn a desired profit that is profit is given you need to identify the sales so the equation is required sales in units whenever units are asked to find because profit is given so in order to earn that profit how many units of your products has to be sold out when such question comes the equation is fixed cost plus desired profit divided by contribution per unit sometimes they may ask required sales value required sales value means in amount how much rupees the in order to say earn that much profit how much sales amount has to be incurred so that the case equation is fixed cost plus desired profit divided by contribution per unit into selling price per unit the same equation can be used in a simple way that is fixed cost plus desired profit divided by pv ratio so my opinion it is whenever you come across this type of question try to use this one and this one 
instead of this one anyway it's up to your discretion you can learn any equation and you can try out any one so these are the major equations that we are we will be using in the case of marginal cost statements so next one from the following information calculate pv ratio break even sales and sales required to earn a profit of rupees 50000 so let us go through the items sales is given 5 lakhs variable cost is given 3 lakhs and fixed cost is given 1 lakh so what's the for pv ratio we know the equation pv ratio is contribution divided by sales into 100 contribution is not given but you know how to find the contribution so pv ratio equal to contribution by sales into 100 and contribution equal to sales minus variable cost sales is given variable cost is given so contribution is obtained so directly substitute the amount of contribution in the equation you will get pv ratio 40 percent is so first part is over next one break even sales break even sales means break even point in sales that was the meaning so break even sales equal to fixed cost by pv ratio if the same question was asked in units that is break even units was asked you can use the equation fixed cost by contribution per unit so what are maybe for the time being this is given break even sales so fixed cost by pv ratio fixed cost is already given 1 lakh pv ratio is just found out by 40 percentage you got break even sales and finally sales required to earn a profit of 50000 that is if you are earning a profit of 50000 how much sales would have been occurred in the business so the equation for finding the equation is sales required to earn a profit of 50000 equal 1 lakh plus 50000 divided by 40 percent as see we have learned equation fixed cost by desired profit divided by contribution per unit this equation is used whenever units are asked to find in this case sales amount is asked to find so fixed cost plus desired profit divided by pv ratio fixed cost is 1 lakh plus desired profit is 50000 because 50000 is already given so 50000 divided by 40 percent is equal you get the sales amount so the business have to sell the goods for rupees 3 lakh 75000 in order to earn a profit of 50000 that is the meaning of that question so this is how you have to deal with the various application level cases let us try out some of the other examples four line particulars are obtained from the costing records two period is given sales is given cost is given so how you are going to find out previously we have dealt the same situation in that case sales and profit is given here sales and cost is given so what how you are going to find out because first of all the thing is that we need profit amount to find the pv ratio or whatever the details which are asked to find so when our sales and cost is given we all know the difference between sales and cost is profit so if you find a question like this don't get confused just take the difference you will get the profit amount so now you have the profit to the period sales for the period as well as the cost is next one in the question you are asked to find pv ratio easy to find fixed cost break even point and profit when sales are 2 lakh 50000 all things are very easy to find and also one more question sales required to earn a profit of 45000 see two question at the same time profit when sales are 2 lakh 50000 and sales required to earn a profit of 45000 these two type questions are different but it is showing it's asked interchangeably first one pv ratio equation change in profit divided by change in sales into 100 change in profit see profit difference in profit has to be taken divided by change in sales into 100 you got pv ratio next one fixed cost in the question there is no information regarding fixed cost and we know that fixed cost can be computed by using one or two equations remember <coughs> fixed cost can be computed on the basis of profits and definitely on the basis of profit only you have to find out but the thing is in this question there are two profits which profit has to be taken you can choose 
any profit for the computer you can either choose first profit or second profit the thing is that the profit relating the which period has to be kept in mind because there is one more step regarding the computation of fixed cost in that case in which year the profit has which have been taken the another in the item relating to that current year has to be considered while computing fixed cost we will discuss or we will come to that part so contribution for the of the first year equal to sales into pv ratio we will begin with that contribution of the first year is sales into pv ratio so sales for the first year is taken sales for the first year is 2 lakh into pv ratio 20 percent it will not change you got 40000 so contribution of the first year is obtained next we know that if you are just contribution with profit you will get fixed cost see there are two profits so which one is taken how did you find 40000 you found 40000 on the basis of sales of the first year so when you are whenever you are taking the sales of the particular period the profit of that particular period must be considered in order to identify fixed cost since you have selected the 2 lakh of period 1 the next step is fixed cost equal to contribution minus profit that is 40000 minus 20000 you will get 20,000. You can either go for the sales of the second year. If you are going for the sales of the second year, here your sales will be 3 lakh. But in this case, you have to select 40,000 as a profit instead of 20,000. That is the concept of following. You can choose anything. But if you have selected the sales of first period, select the profit for the first period for finding the fixed cost. Otherwise, you can go for the second period. In that case, you have to select the 40,000 of the second period. I hope you understand the concept. If you have any queries, please let me know. Next one. Break even point equal to fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Fixed cost is 20,000 divided by PV ratio 20 percentage. You will get 1 lakh. So, you have found break even point. And next one. Profit when sales are 2 lakh 50,000. The equation is sales equal to fixed cost plus desired profit divided by PV ratio and sales is given and profit when sales are 22,50,000 so sales is given 2,50,000 equal fixed cost is already given in the question it will be the same value irrespective of the period plus desired profit we don't know let it be like that divided by PV ratio is 20 percent so by solving this uh, computation part you will get the amount 30,000 so, for sales of rupees 2,50,000, you will earn a profit of 30,000. Next one, sales required to earn a profit of rupees 45,000. Same equation can be used with a different style. I let, let me show you how we are going to do that. See, the same equation can be used just to shift the amounts given in the question. Sales required to earn a profit of 45,000. So, in this case, we don't know sales. So, substitute the details given in the question. Sales, let it be like that. Fixed cost is 20,000 plus 45,000 is shown in the desired profit area and PV ratio is 20 percentage and finally, you got sales. So, the same equation can be used for finding profit as well as sales. So, this is the concept of finding your PV ratio, recommend point analysis as well as other aspects relating to that. Next, let us try out another case. PV ratio, present profit, profit when output is 2500 units. So now it is in the units. Number of units to be sold to obtain a profit of 10,000. So the, the concept is Previously, we were dealing with sales amount. In this case, it is given in units. The only thing is, whenever units are asked, the equation, there is a slight change in the equation. We will deal with that one. Selling price per unit is 20 is given. Variable cost per unit is 15. Fixed cost 4000 and output is 2000 units. So, how you are going to find the various item? First one, PV ratio. PV ratio is contribution by sales into 100. We don't have contribution, so let us find contribution per unit. Selling price per unit minus variable cost, otherwise known as marginal cost per unit. 
selling price is 20 minus 15 you will get contribution per unit 5. So, PV ratio is contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100. So, we can find the PV ratio when the details is given relating to a per unit value. It does not mean that you need amount, total amount value to find PV ratio. We can use per unit value to find PV ratio. So, PV ratio is 25 percentage. Next, you need to find the profit. Since fixed cost is given, contribution is already found, you can find the amount of profit. For that, you need to make some change. Present profit equal to contribution minus fixed cost. Since fixed cost is given in 4000, you need to change the contribution to the amount form. So, how you are going to change it into amount? Contribution per unit is rupees 5. Total number of units produced during the year is 2000 units. So, the con total contribution amount will be 5 into 2000, 10,000. So, substitute the value 10,000 minus 4000, you will get the present profit 6000. So, now you have present profit. Next one, profit when output is 2500 units. We have dealt the same equation, but there is a slight difference in the denominator part. Contribution at 2500 units is 12500. That is, contribution per unit is 5. So, contribution at 2500 units is 2500 into, sorry, 2500 uh, 2, into 5, you will get 12500. So, now you have contribution per unit. So, profit equal to contribution minus fixed cost. Because fixed cost always remains the same even if the production increases or decreases. We already found contribution per unit. If you multiply contribution per unit with number of units, you will get contribution amount for the total number of units. So, we have contribution as well as fixed cost. So, if you take the difference, you will get profit for 2500 units. And finally, number of units to be sold to obtain a profit of 10,000. How you are going to find? The equation is required sales in units equal to fixed cost plus desired profit divided by contribution per unit. Previously, we were using PV ratio. In this case, it will be contribution per unit. So, required sales in units, we don't know the sales amount. We only know the profit amount. So, just substitute the details. Fixed cost 4000 plus desired profit 10,000 divided by contribution per unit. You got the amount of sorry, unit number of units of goods that are sold. So, this is how you have to deal with the question when per unit values are given. Just go through all these cases and familiarize the situation. And next one, cash break even point. Previously, we discussed about break even point and the given sales and next one cash break even point as the term suggests it means the cash actual cash break even point so what is the concept of cash break cash break even point is calculated by taking into account the cash fixed cost because previously i have mentioned that fixed cost are rent paid, salaries paid, depreciation on items and some of the items that has to be made even if the organization is earning or not. That is a concept of marginal cost concept. So, fixed cost includes the cash items as well as non-cash items. So, when break even analysis is done only on the base of cash items by neglecting non cash items or directing non cash items it is known as cash break even point so the equation for cash break even point can be computed by fixed cost minus depreciation divided by contribution per unit it is the same equation con break even point in units is equation is fixed cost by contribution per unit since in cash break even point we are consulting only cash item, one of the most important non cash item is depreciation as to be deducted from fixed cost. That is known as cash break even point. 
usually you may not come across questions based on this part anyway just familiarize the equation try to use the same equation so as to find the answer and remember sometimes uh, apart from depreciation they might give uh, one more non operating or non cash item that is interest so when depreciation and interest come just deduct those two amounts from fixed cost that is the concept of break even point so just go through all these areas we will be discussing about the various methods for computing break even analysis in the next slide so that's all for now on if you have any queries please let me know we will continue with the remaining part in the next slide